uh, keep all these layers up here so you don't have to do them again and just delete all these in the library if you don't want them so we're gonna go again oval tool let's change the color to that same line weight same everything and uh, one small circle here and one big circle there uh, change that smaller circle bigger circle uh, too big uh, still too big yeah whatever there gonna grab that and center it to the stage for now there now we're gonna grab the f outline go back up to modify shape convert lines to fills so now they're fills copy that oh it's already in the outlines <laughs> so instead let's copy the color into the color layer and there we go now we have them separated nice so let's change the color into a symbol we're gonna call this I don't know Shade. Shad. Yes. Alright, copy into the shadow layer. Let's go back down to the filters panel. Copy. So, like that. Drop shadow. Inner. Blah, blah. Let's choose this color because it looks better. Quality, change that. I don't know. Just experimenting here, and already this looks a little better. Yeah, looks nice. Uh, still looks like crap. Whatever. It still looks more interesting. There you go. Now let's go copy that into the highlights and let's just add a bit of highlight to that again now I'm sorry if this is getting a bit redundant but I'm just trying to give you an example of when this is not gonna work and when you're gonna have to do a little manual work Well, whatever. No. Looks nice, right? Well, wrong. Now, say you want this back here to be a little darker than that. And, for instance, you only want this half to be shaded, not this half. Can't do that with a straight drop shadow filter. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go here. Delete all, well, not delete it, hide those. See, they're hidden, not deleted. Get a new layer. Cut this guy there and break them apart. Now we have these, and we're going to use the pencil tool to carve out what we want to be the shadow. Now we're going to take the pencil tool and uh, nope, and nope, and do that. Whatever. Uh, there. That looks bad, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Now the gray is going to be the shadow, and everything else is not going to be the shadow. So we're going to take this, going to change this into one symbol, call it shade, whatever, one, and call this guy. I don't know, two, don't give a crap, copy that, into the shell layer, hide that, and now we're going to add different filters to each one, man, I should have done that, hang on a sec, copy, undo, real quick, so we don't have to do all this again and copy the selected filter. Delete. 
in there again. All right. Now let's just paste these filters for a quick and easy access and change that from inner shadow to just normal. There we go. And adjust the values. Oh, let's put that at zero because we don't really want that. I don't know. What? There, now you can see that the shading on this side is a little lighter and not as dark and it's a lot darker here and more bold. Now as you can see if we do that you can see that there's some color spilling off so what we're going to simply do we're going to lock this so we don't screw up copy this from the color go up and we're going to make a new layer it's a mask for all the filters. There. Let's keep it like that. <clears throat> there we go. There. Now there's no, not going to be any color spilling out. So we can see that. Say if I do that. See color spilling out? No more. It's gone. But just to make clear, because you might not be able to see it in the video that well, let's make it a little darker for now. Ugh, stupid masks. Okay, it's locked. Dummy. Let's make it a little darker. There. Now you can see, fixes the problem. Let's just undo that real quick so we don't screw things up. A lot of undoing to be done. There. Done. Okay, now... Now let's say we want to, I don't know, give it a little bit of an interesting highlight. So we're going to new layer. And we're going to make the brush tool. And we're just going to start painting some extra highlights on it. There, there. There, there. And let's change that into a symbol. I don't I don't even care anymore. There. Now let's go down to the filters panel and let's change that to a drop blur filter, not a drop shadow. And now you can see we have some interesting shadow well highlights on this. Now you can see if we make this bigger here or whatever it has a much brighter gives it a more shiny brighter look whatever blah blah so just adjust that however you like but for now I don't really care this looks fine after all it's only an example I'm trying to give you an idea of what to do that you see makes it a little brighter adds a little more shadow to that well highlights that. Now let's say we want to blend in some colors to this. Now let's go there, add a new layer on top, well underneath all that really. Oh we already had one, whatever. Now let's go and add some green to it. This ugly color. Blah. Change that into a symbol. Go down to the filters panel. Not drop shadow, but a blur filter. And there we go. Yeah. Now you can see. Looks a bit weird. But I successfully was able to blend in colors and things like that. Let's just change that around because it looks horrible. Looked a lot better there. The other one. I don't know. Whatever. 
whatever, who cares. Point is, is that now we have some interesting effects going on here. And ultimately it makes this. look a lot less boring than that. There we go. See? More interesting. Now, there's no guaranteed way on how to make things look good. Obviously, this is going to take some time. Tweaking, you know, it can take you a very long time to get it just right, but... And obviously, again, you probably want to use Photoshop for something like this, but this is just how to do it in Flash in case if that's what you like to do or can only do or need to do it that way. So again, you're just going to have to experiment with it, but, you know, this is just sort of trying to teach you how to do some interesting effects with Flash, you know. You don't need Photoshop all the time, but, uh, you know, whatever. Experiment, do whatever you want. I'm just trying to teach you something new. So, yeah. Well, hope this video was of any help to you. If not, whatever. I don't care. So, good day and happy flashing. Bye-bye.